and it kind of looks like a painting out there right now, guys. Take a look. We've got sunshine, puffy blue clouds. It looks like, or I guess you should say puffy white clouds. They're not blue, but it looks like somebody has painted this. And welcome to August. We have changed the calendar here. The record hottest day this month ever in the record books, 101 degrees. Record coldest, 36. Gotta love Connecticut, right? With that variability, uh, the wettest. My goodness, this was back in 1955. Over 20 inches of rain ended up falling that month. Please, let's not do that again. And how much daylight do we lose? You might want to plug your ears if you're a summer lover. But through the course of this month, we lose an hour and 16 minutes of daylight. Average high temperature for the first and for today is going to be in the mid 80s. This is as high as it gets for us here in Connecticut. It doesn't get warmer than 85. It will slowly drop to around 80 degrees and look at the average low by the end of the month in the upper 50s. All right, taking a look at the current numbers right now. We're in the mid 70s to right around 80 degrees. Love it out there and comfortable tonight. If you wanted to get the air circulating around your home again with overnight low temperatures dropping back into the 50s. Tomorrow looks like another gorgeous day, although maybe not quite as much sun as we had out there today instead of, you know, mostly sunny skies. We'll call it a mix of sun and clouds with high temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s and low humidity. It's still going to be a fantastic day to spend outside. Here's one of our computer models showing 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow. It kind of has these high, thin clouds kind of blocking the sun from the beginning of the day onward. I think it might be a little bit overdone, but I do think that we'll see overcast skies heading into your Wednesday. Now, Wednesday, all the way through Thursday, we're going to be keeping a close eye on an area of rainfall that is going to be to the southeast of us. And we are talking about some locally heavy rain. And this is one of those cases where I feel like I only say this kind of thing in the winter time. It's all going to come down to location. How far west this comes will determine how much rainfall we get. And it might be one of those situations where, you know, far west we get zero rain at all Wednesday through Thursday. And in eastern areas, we might be able to get a half an inch to an inch of rain. So we have to keep a close eye on the stalled frontal boundary with a couple of waves of low pressure riding along it. At times, we could see wet weather through here, heading through late Wednesday, Wednesday night, and through the day on Thursday. Again, not a washout through that stretch, but at least a chance for showers occasionally as we see little storms rotate along that line. High temperatures on your Wednesday climbing into the mid to upper 70s. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, the average high temperature for this time of year is way below what we're getting right now. It's in the mid 80s. And we're going to see those numbers again fall well below that upper 70s for your Wednesday, close to 80 degrees on Thursday, mid to upper 80s for your Friday with partly cloudy skies. And right now we're thinking this weekend looks OK, too, and it will be on the warmer side. This weekend was certainly a lot cooler highs in the low to mid 80s for Saturday and Sunday, though it may not be perfectly sunny. We'll take what we can get your shoreline seven day forecast highs in the mid to upper 70s for your Wednesday and Thursday. But back in the 80s starting Friday and lasting right through this upcoming weekend. We'll get another check coming up in just a bit, guys.